Hi everyone, in this video we want to talk about Spark AR segmentation feature and uh, the segmentation, fe segmentation feature allows us to separate the background from the subject, this is the user so we can actually extract the user out of the uh, image and then replace the background with something else so for example I can put their image or an animated PNG uh, for example, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is uh, put this image, which are already important, of a garden uh, and make the user appear in front of it uh, instead of having the user uh, appear with the background of the area where they are located at. For example, I'm in my room, so if I'm going to just uh, use the filter, you're going to see the room and me in it. But I'm going to kind of extract uh, the background out and replace it with this image that you see here uh, on the right side all right so that's what I'm going to achieve of course just keep in mind you can replace it with an any image that you want or even a sequence of images an animated one and place it uh, uh, behind the user all right so, so we need to make sure that we are in mode camera space so the camera takes the entire uh, space of the uh, view and now under canvas we're going to add two rectangles we did this by right clicking add and choose rectangle now we're going to have a rectangle size 100 by 100 uh, but we want the rectangle to take the entire space of the view but what we need to do is go here in size make sure the rectangle is selected and we need to tap here and choose fill width and then tap the height one and choose fill height now it takes the entire space and this rectangle will be the user so I'm going to double tap and rename it user all right we're going to create another one uh, for the background I'm going to right click and duplicate this one so because it duplicates, it's already filled, uh, it's filling in the entire space view. And I'm going to call it background. Now, both of the background and user right now are, as you can see here, on the layer, on the same layer. So they actually appear uh, one in the same place as the other, which one of them will appear in front. What they want, because they are at the same uh, uh, Z space, this location, I want one to appear one after the other. We want the background to appear at the back and the user to appear at the front. That's why we have layering. The layering allows us to position two elements that exist on the same uh, location on the Z axis to have one appear in front of the other. So for the user, we're going to create a separate layer and to do this, uh, we can either go to layers and create those layers first or just go to here, layer, tap this one and create new layer. I'm going to create the layers here first. So going to the tab layers, tap it, tap add layer. I'm going to create tab it called user and another layer called background. What I need to make sure is that the user is in front of the background how i know this because the background is down in the uh, below the user in this list so the layer that appears above another layer it will be also in front of the layer in the scene so the user is in front uh, above the background in the list so it appear in front of the background in this uh, scene all right now I just created them they're not actually assigned right now to any of the objects in the scene so i need to do this right now so i'm tapping user and i need to go to the layer it's still layer zero and choose user these are all my layers so i'm going to choose user now background i go to background and layer and choose background now i want to show you how this works so what are we going to do first I'm just going to create different materials for each one. 
So for the user, I'm going to create a material. I'm going to materials and click the plus button. And you create a material. I'm going to name it user material. I'm going to go to background and create a different material for the background. Make sure it's background. Go to materials, click the plus button, create new material. You can see it material zero. I'm going to rename it uh, BG background material. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is just choose a different color because I want to show you something so you can clearly understand how things work. So for the user, I'm going to choose red. For the background, we're going to choose, I'm going to go to BG material and choose another color. Background will be blue, like sky, so it's going to be blue. Now, as you can see, the user, which is the red uh, material, appears now at the front. The background is at the back. You can't see it because the user and both the background and the user uh, rectangle covers the entire camera space. But if I'm going to change the layers, go to layers and drag, tap and drag the user below the background. Now the background is in front, it's above the user in the list. So it's in front of the user rectangle in the scene. Can tap the background and move it back now the user is in front of the background all right so let's continue so of course we don't want uh the red to be the user because we want the user to appear here what we need to do is to have uh the camera stream uh appear here but we only want the user so how we do this so the first thing we need to do let's go to scene what we need to do is uh, tap the camera node here. And for the camera, we're going to have in the sidebar, in the properties, we're going to have two options, which is texture extraction and segmentation. So texture extraction will extract the, uh, uh, the image uh, feed from the camera in a separate texture so when you click the plus button and this will create camera texture and we also see it here on the left side in the assets panel camera texture then we need to tap segmentation as well and what segmentation will do is it will spark URL will automatically detect the boundaries of the user's body and then create a mask which can be used in order to mask out uh, the areas around the user. So what we need to do first, we created both the texture and actually the segmentation, you can see it here, camera texture and, pe and person segmentation. We have also, uh, uh, for each one, we also have some, uh, sorry, uh, for the person segmentation, we have some more options which uh, one is to control the edge softness, softness and the mask size. I'm going to show it to you later on once we applied it. So the first thing we need to do is go to the user object rectangle and we're going to change this material. Instead of uh, having the red one, we wanted to have the texture, the camera texture. So we go to the material, we can either tap here one time or double click here. So let's double click here. Now we're in user material, as you can see here. Now what we're going to do uh, is uh, I'm going to choose a uh, flat because we want to get, uh, we want the lighting to affect uh, the image. We want to be the same as it looks like uh, as streamed by the camera. So we do flat. Then we're going to change back the color to white. And now we need to do is choose a texture. So we tap this button and now we need to choose the camera texture. Tap and then we have the user. But right now, the user is with the white background. Uh, if you have something behind you, you're going to see something behind you. I mean, if you're in my room, you're going to see my room. 
and still the establish is not separated from the background. To separate it from the background, we need to add uh, a mask, an alpha mask. So this is under this section alpha. First, we're going to activate it, but still nothing happens just yet. What we need to do under texture for the alpha, alpha channel, we need to choose check the, uh, texture and then choose person segmentation mask texture. Tap it and now you can see the result. The user is now separated from the background quite accurately as you can see and now we can actually see the background which is the blue one that we put in a separate layer behind the user's rectangle. Let me enlarge it a bit so you can clearly see it. All right. Uh, now you can see there are two separated layers. So if I go to user, to the user's uh, material, which I'm, is here, I can actually even reduce the transparency. So make it less transparent. And then you're going to see the background more. And then I can make the user appear like this. Cool, right? By the way, you can also invert the mask. So instead of the user, it's going to look like this. We invert it. So now you can see what's behind only in the user's uh, segmented uh, shape. You can do something cool with this one. But right now in this video, of course, we're going to focus on just a clear view of the user in the, in the 3D scene. All right. All right, let's continue. So the next thing we are going to do is we want to replace the background, the blue one, with something else. Uh, blue is boring, right? So we already, I already imported an image, which is a vertical uh, image of a garden. Let's move the no compression for a second. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this image instead of the blue background. So to do this, it's very simple. We go to the background material, we can click background add a double click material here or one click here in the materials in the list. I'm going to click here this time uh, and I'm going to choose flat again. So I want the image to appear as is. Uh, so if you want to change the colors, you can do this here. Instead of blue, you can choose something else and choose, choose to change any color that you like. I'm going to put white because I won't, don't want to color the image. I don't want to mix the color with the texture image. So now in texture, I'm going to go to texture and then choose the door wooden door garden nature image. Tap it. And then, as you can see, we have uh, the image appear behind the user. I'm going to go back to the user material, just change the opacity so, you can, opacity so you can see. Increase it. And you can see there's a clear separation between the user's body. And this includes the hands, entire body, and the background. Nice. And I wanted to show you uh, the options here for the segmentation you can see the edge sharpness i can reduce it and the edge will appear less sharp or soften now i can also uh, increase the mask size or reduce the mask size so you can actually if you want to create something that uh, kind of uh, colorful edges around the user you can actually use this and change the create a mask uh, uh, use the mask in order to color it and position uh, it behind the user with different colors i'm going to show it to you in later videos how you can achieve this but you know, probably you're going to get the idea so i'm going to if i want it to be more accurate i'm going to reduce it a bit like this look how accurate it is I'm going to be sharper. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to be sharper. 
you know, softer edges, you're going to increase it. All right. So this is how you can create uh, your segmentation in order to separate the background from uh, the user uh, and create some cool effects. And this works if we have two people in the scene, it will still work the same. Uh, you don't need to apply anything. And you can just use it to create uh, effects, Instagram and Facebook filters, where you like teleport the user to another place. And you can create really cool stuff behind the user. As I told you, you can also use animated uh, PNG to get kind of cool animation behind or replace it with uh, changing and dynamic backgrounds or create something that actually moves and makes you look like uh, the user uh, is inside a 3D scene. You have many, many options which you can use to be very creative with this type of uh, effect by using the base segmentation feature in Spark AR Studio. So this is it. It's a simple and quick uh, overview of the segmentation. In future videos, we'll do some uh, some critical tricks and create some really nice effects. Uh, uh, but by the same, using the base segmentation feature, but creating something more interesting and unique, uh, which people probably will enjoy uh, looking better than this one. <laughs> so again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell button in order to get notified when I release new tutorials. And I try to do those uh, quite often and touch different types of features in Spark AI Studio. And of course, cover some of my filters that I've personally done so you can see how you can achieve those as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.